So it's been my experience that the first time somebody comes across an RGB LED or any sort of LED array where they share a common anode or cathode, the first thing they think is, sweet, I can just use one resistor and I can share that among all of the LEDs in this array. That doesn't quite work. So I wanna show you uh, an example of this. I've got an RGB LED with a single resistor that is shared between all of them. It's a common cathode. And the funny thing is I turn on the red, everything's good. I turn on the blue, everything's good. I'm gonna skip the green because of time. And that's fantastic. But if I turn on the red and then turn on the blue, you can see it doesn't make that much of a difference. And if I turn blue on all the way, red on all the way, and green on all the way, you'd expect a fairly pure white light, but I'm getting a very red tinge on this. And so what's going on? The problem here is that it all goes down to how an LED works and forward voltage. So let's look at the basic LED circuit. So you have your power source, I'm gonna go there. You have your LED and it doesn't really matter what if you have the resistor first or the LED first, but I'm just gonna do it this way for the heck of it. We're gonna assume a five volt power source and a red LED has two volts across it. And then you're going to have three volts burned in the resistor itself. And so in a single LED resistor combination, this is how it works and everything's great. Now the challenge comes when you have a single power source going to two LEDs of varying forward voltages. So we assume that our red LED has two volts across it, but a blue LED is usually between three and four volts. So I'm just gonna put four volts. And now, as you look at this, oh, I missed my resistor there. We're gonna act like that resistor's right there. As we look at this, you can see obviously that the LEDs are in parallel. So as your five volt power source is going across, you've got five volts here, but then you're dropping two volts across this LED, which means you're dropping two volts across this LED. And so if you have two volts across a, an LED that has a four volt forward voltage, you're not gonna actually have any current through there. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have two volts across both of these LEDs, three volts across the resistor, but all the current is gonna go that way and practically none is gonna go that way. Now there might be a little bit because this will start to conduct at a little bit less than the nominal four volts. And this will be a little bit more than the two volt forward voltage because you're going past that forward voltage to get the current going. So that's why you might see a little bit, but there's definitely gonna be a huge imbalance between where that current is going. And so that is why you cannot share a resistor on a common anode or common cathode RGB LED or an LED array is because of that forward voltage issue and that forward voltage imbalance that you're gonna have between the two right there. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope that explains why you can't do that. And if you like this, give it a like. And I've heard that all the cool kids subscribe to our channel. So if you wanna join in, please do so. Catch you on the next one.